السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear student of third secondary Today we are going to solve booklet 3 from Brilliant in Chemistry We will start with question 1 And we will have the first lesson from the beginning of the chapter Till the general properties of 3D elements Okay, let's start with our questions today Question 1 says that for the medical photographing Okay, with gamma rays we use okay we said that we have photographing for the like the bones of hands or legs or any parts of the bones of our body using the gamma rays that we depend on it to know the fracture or any stain in our body okay we use element what or the one that we depend on for this one okay if we said that we have isotope radioactive of the element in the group IVB okay the other one here isotope non radioactive of the element located in the group VIB or isotope radioactive element in the group VI3 and the last one here, isotope non-radioactive element in the group VB. Okay, if we said that we have radioactive element, that the, the one that we use, we have cobalt-60, okay. And cobalt-60 is one of the elements that present in group VI3, okay. This group contains three columns that they are the isotope one depend on or amid gamma ray cobalt 60 okay if we continue or mention that the it radioactive isotope cobalt 60 amid gamma rays since the cobalt is located in the group what in the vertical group vi3 okay so the right answer here will be letter c okay let's going to question two Question 2 says that according to the following reaction, X represents the element what? We wanted to know what is the element X that reacts with NiO, OH plus H2O, okay? That will give X, OH by 2 plus Na, OH by 2. That is the transition element in the 3D series. Okay, if we discussing this one. We want one element that here its oxidation state or oxidation number will be what here from this compound we have XOH by 2. This means that oxidation number will be plus 2. So if we discuss the answer here we have oxidation number of the compound will be plus 2. So we have here if we have a choice as scandium, zinc, copper, and iron. We have scandium and deuterium that they are in the 3B elements with the oxidation state plus 3 only. Also, we have copper and zinc that we have copper and zinc. Also, we have copper less active than nickel. So, it will not make the compound the two compounds in the product so we choose what we choose at the end the last one iron as it takes the oxidation state what it, it takes the oxidation state plus two and it is more active than nickel it is more active than nickel here so it will give the two compounds here as it is more active than nickel than giving at the pre at the beginning Fe O H by two and the other product will be in I O H by two also. Okay. So the right answer here will be the iron. Okay. This is the many question that I think it's sometimes needed to concentrate on the reactions of iron. Let's go into question three. Question 3 says that the similarity of the element here we have element what with iron 
and the cobalt element is the ability of magnetization. We have scandium, nickel, zinc, and vanadium. If we're discussing the question here, what is the similarity of element that we have with iron and cobalt element? We said that we have the group of strong or some elements are similar in the magnetization. They have the same property. We said that we have the iron, cobalt, and nickel are elements in one vertical group VI3 that we discussed before, and they are horizontal elements where similar is between them large in properties so they are in the property of magnetization they are similar to each other as they present in the same group okay so the right answer here will be the nickel okay let's go into question four question four says that the alloy what that not contain the element with the electronic configuration for S1 3D10. We have the press and we said it is the yellow alloy or making the color of the gold, the press alloy, the white copper, the ferromanganese, and the last one, the bronze. Okay. If we said that we have alloy with this electronic configuration okay what is the right answer here if we discuss the all the elements all of these contain the electronic configuration 4s1 and 3d10 okay the one that not belongs to it if we set the press alloy that containing copper white copper it's also copper we have the last one bronze it's also alloy that contain copper so the one that not contain the electronic configuration with 4s1 3d10 will be the here the ferromanganese it's a type of alloy that doesn't contain only one that doesn't contain copper with its electronic configuration for S1 3D10. Okay, let's go into question five. Here we have question five says that the outer layer of what isolated the rest of the chromium from the atmospheric air. We have different kinds of compounds here. We have the chromium sulfide the chromium sulfate the chromium oxide and the last one the chromium carbonate okay if we discuss this one we want a layer that has a property of non-porous layer or non-porous oxide layer that prevent what prevent the reaction or prevent the oxidation reaction what will be the layer that isolated the chromium from the atmospheric air or prevent the chromium to react with oxygen of the air we said that we have here one that contain which one will be the non-porous oxide so it contain oxygen so it will not take oxygen from the air depending on the it will be protecting or covering with no no spaces or no porous uh, or non porous layer that prevent the continuation of the reaction with the air so the right answer here will be letter c okay let's go into question six question six says that i think it's one of the very important questions that depend on the chemical formula or depend on the oxidation number the following information is for the transition element X represent in the hydrated salt we have XCl2 H2O by 4 all Cl dot H2O okay this is compound that hydrated salt 
Okay, what are the properties of the hydrated salt? Here we have it oxidizes rapidly in the air, forming protective layer or shield that prevent from oxidation. Also, its compound have many colors. It's used in the metal plating and it's oxidized used as dye. So, X component is, we, have, we wanted to know what is the X element that we use to form this hydrated salt. We have the copper, we have the, the zinc, the chromium, and the iron. Do you think what is the right answer here? We said that before, one that contain oxygen and forming non-porous layer that prevent from the reaction in the air and it contain different what contain different properties that can make protection for any substance or any material okay we said that we have the oxidation number here oxidation number in the compound will be plus three if we're discussing the first copper and zinc they don't take plus three in the hydrated salt of nature and so we have the protective layer here or covering that we need it not depend on the presence of copper and zinc so its oxidation state or oxidation formula indicate that it will be what it will be the chromium so the right answer will be letter C okay let's going to question 7 Question 7 says that the similarities of elements at the farthest left of the G series in that. Okay, we have the similar in the properties between the properties in the G series. We have they are all metals and we have they are all transition metals. They have the same number of d electrons and the last one all of the previous if we discussing the answer here the similarities of element at the left of the d series okay we said that they are representative metals so the main property of it depending on the element of the d series and the element of the left side are all metals the different the similarity between transition in the middle and the left side we have main or similarity between them as they are metals okay so the right answer will be letter a let's going to question a question eight says that the similarities of the column elements at the farthest right of the d series okay we are going to the other side of the table in this question that we will discuss they are all transition metals no in the middle that we have transition but in the right side not transition element all are non-transition metals no also so they opposite to each other but not the right answer do you think that okay the similarities between the farthest right and this series this series here the similarities all are non-transition metals okay the column element of the at the farthest right side means that they are not transition element okay we have here the horizontal period number no and the atomic number also no okay if we discussing the answer here we will mention that rightmost column of the d series is the, the column of the vertical group to be okay the last will be to be and it doesn't contain single electron in their orbitals in its atomic state as well as its oxidation number will be plus two so they are considered as a non-transition element okay we consider this is the only one property so they are non-transition elements okay this is the reason that we choose this one i think it's very important question let's go into question nine 
question 9 says that by falling off ultraviolet rays on the skin painted with substance containing titanium dioxide CiO2 particles then it what happened okay we said that titanium dioxide make a layer that prevent the penetration of ultraviolet rays to the skin so it a uh, some blocks we use it as a uh, some blocks in different cosmetics okay so we will choose we have penetrated the skin absorbed in the skin layer reflected and dispersed and the last one all the previous okay if we discussing the our answer here we have titanium dioxide non particles prevent non particles means that there is no spaces in the layer that containing titanium dioxide that preventing the ultraviolet rays from reaching the skin so the right answer will be reflected and dispersed means that it will not affect on the skin or make any harms for the skin so the right answer will be letter c okay let's going to question 10 Question 10 says that the number of transition elements that present in the form of trebles in the same vertical column equal. Okay, we want to discuss the answer here. We have choices 40, 12, 36, and 25. Okay, if we discuss the elements that we have here, elements of what we have transition element in the presence of treble treble means that they are we have three columns that collected together in the group vi3 exists in the form of trebles three elements in the horizontal period and they are found in four horizontal periods that they are three column and four periods three times four will giving what will giving 12 elements so the right answer here will be 12 you understand the question now okay i think it's easy but you must concentrate to understand the question easily okay let's go into question 11. question 11 says that the 3d element that containing the largest number of single electrons in their orbitals in okay we have here the Benting the bumpers of cars. Do you think that? I think it's one of the main important. We have also choices manufacture of huge magnets, detection of the malignant tumors that very hard or very kind of diseases very hard and galvanizing the minerals and metals. Okay, if we chose the one that means that we have one substance that having a large number of single electrons in the d orbit will be five and it will be found in the chromium okay if we said that we have large number of single electrons means that we have five so the we are in the five orbitals of 3d they are single electrons all the d orbitals so we have five electrons that belong to only chromium and manganese but we have the use that we depend on it that we have chromium used in metal plating that making covering layer so if we discussing between the chromium and manganese chromium make a layer that preventing from oxidation with the atmospheric air so it will be used in painting in painting what in painting the bumpers of cars okay it's one of the main function that preventing from the reaction from atmospheric air and prevent from oxidation depending it in protection or covering let's go into question 12 question 12 says that the least here the least number of double of electrons okay mean doubling of electrons of 4s and 3d that the elements contain okay we have two groups here 
or two elements. We have element present in 2B or VI3. Also, we have element iron and scandium, vanadium and titanium, copper and cobalt. Okay, if we're discussing each one, here we have number of doubling means that making the double electrons or double electrons not present in the single form we have in the 4s and 3d that belongs to vanadium and titanium so we have here it will be two it will be two so the right answer here will be letter c vanadium and titanium let's go into question 13 question 13 says that the number of vertical column of the transition element in the 4d series equal equal what we have different choices here we have the first one will be 10 9 8 and 7 okay if we discuss the answer we have column 12 in the periodic table is the column of 2b and it's one of the non-transition element non-transition element means that it will contain nine or the group nine okay so the right answer here will be nine so the number of vertical column of the transition elements in the 4d series equal we have the column 12 in the periodic table will be 12 to be and the fourth non-transition element the vertical column in the four series we have nine what nine column okay let's going to question 14 question 14 says that choose the, from the following suitable according to the magnetiz magnetizable or magnetization 3d elements what will be the property that will effect here we have they have the same number of single electrons in 3d they are located on the farthest left of the horizontal period they are located in the same vertical group and the last one here that they are very brittle and ductile okay if we discuss the answer we said that we have elements magnetization or making it as a magnet that belong to the elements that in the group what in the the uh, uh, column or the group vi3 so we have the iron and cobalt will be magnetized element that have or in the same vertical group vi3 so the right answer here will be letter c they are located in the same vertical group let's go to question 15 Question 15 says that the number of vertical groups here that we have equal the same of electrons. Okay, we have N S, N minus 1 D. Of the element with the atomic number what to the element with the atomic number what respectively. Okay, if we said that we have the number of vertical group the same with element with the same number of the same atomic number or it means that the discussing this question that we have the vertical group number equal to the numbers of d and s or electrons for two elements that having the same uh, atomic number respectively we have the element that take n s and n minus 1 d with the same electrons for them that will be scandium and manganese they having the oxidation number 21 and 25 respectively okay let's go into question 16 question 16 says that the metal whose most common chemical formula will be x2o5 we said that we have element and we will 
illustrate here its property we will conclude it at the end we have the first one metal extremely brittle in its pure form or pure state metal that bond its cation with SO4 negative 2 to form insecticide element in the mag fighter aircraft industry and element with high hardness in the alloy industry okay if we discussing this one we said that we have the chemical formula X2O5 X2O5 that belongs to only one that we have the vanadium we have the element vanadium and it's the main function that we have its high hardness or very hard alloy that resemble to steel in it or higher than steel in its hardness so the right answer will be letter D element with high hardness in the alloy industry that we use the vanadium pentaoxide that will be V2O5 okay let's go into question 17 question 17 says that which of the following ionic pairs that contain in the sublevel 3d single five electrons in their orbitals okay if we discussing we have different choices here we have the first one we have the fe plus two and fe plus three we have iron tri fe plus three and the manganese dioxide mn plus two cobalt dioxide uh, cobalt plus two and zn plus two the last one here that we have scandium plus three and nickel plus four okay we said that we have what we have ionic bears in the 3d single we have five electrons only in their orbitals that means in cases of oxidation that we have only five electrons mean that they have single electrons in the 3d or 3d contains five or have the number of electrons that saturating the or making it saturated so it belongs to two of these we have iron three and also according to this distribution of ions we have iron 3 and iron mn plus 2 that will be have have field of d orbitals that containing single electrons five single electrons so it will be iron fe plus 3 and mn plus 2 it the right answer here will be letter b okay let's go on to question 18 question 18 says that the cobalt devices used in okay we have the function here that discussing this question we have institutes and hospitals of the tumor treatment we said that we different cobalt with its radioactive form that used in the treatment of the tumors and also authorities that control and the duality of food products okay mean that that we take the stopping of the continuation of bacteria and germs also that factories that produce sheet metal and the last one all of the previous okay we said that cobalt is very important one okay very important radioactive isotope that cobalt 60 available in all the uses that we mentioned in our choices for this question so all the previous are in the devices that depend on the presence of cobalt as an element okay let's go into question 19 question 19 says that the largest number of double electrons or di electrons in the 3d orbitals found in we have our choices copper plus two iron plus three zinc plus two and titanium plus two okay if we discuss each one here that we have the first we have the 
divalent zinc. We have divalent zinc ion that we have 10 electrons in a pair state. So the largest number of double electrons or the pairs of electrons, every two electrons in pairs uh, with the same sum of them in one orbital means that we have in the 3D, okay? So we have the element zinc, no zinc ion, Zn plus 2, Zn plus 2. It will be all of 3D filled with electrons. So it will lose the two electrons that present in what? In the S, in 4S, but all the 3D orbital is filled with electron or we have doubling in each one so the right answer here will be letter C let's go into the last question of our booklet question number 20 question 20 says that which of the following not distinguish titanium elements it's one that not property of what of element we said that it's non toxic and the bond strongly to the bones means that it will give x-ray or use as what uh, as making photographing good ultraviolet reflector and which present in the form of titanium dioxide that we said that it will disperse the ultraviolet rays that protect or that use in cosmetics that make a protection or some blocks the here uh, letter C very hard like steel and less in dense yes I mean it means that we have very hard in in property and it will be less in dense or less in mass that we have a uh, light in mass and the last one we have most abundant 3d element in the earth's crust do you think that titanium what about iron okay we have the right answer that not titanium is the most abundant one of the earth's crust we have the iron this property only belong to iron is the most abundant 3d element in the earth's crust not the titanium it's not a property for distinguish what for titanium as an element and this is the last question i think it's easy one but we must read all the choices till reaches to the end of the question okay thanks for joining i hope you enjoy this booklet i think all questions may be needed to study hard all the uses of the 3d elements this is the last question or the last booklet in this part we wait to any question on any way of communication you have different ways for communication we have group in telegram in uh, in face and also in what's that we have all the questions we waiting for it okay i hope you enjoy our questions okay dr serene with you okay thank you and goodbye